you so much uh, gr great great we thank god for this particular hour welcome again to adventist angels watch on our radio your number one christian radio sharing the good news to the ends of the earth preparing the people of the earth for the second coming of lord jesus christ friends the signs of the times are moving very very fast things are moving very fast the title of today is kiss the sun there is the rule of ecumenism what is it I have seen a movement in Africa, I have seen a movement which started in Europe, it's going to every nation. This is what Revelation chapter 17 actually says, that there is a woman carrying a cup, false doctrines, and these doctrines have made the world mad. What is it? The first patron was building a tower or papel so that they could not be destroyed. The second patron of Nebuchadnezzar was also building it is on tower it reached onto heaven and they praise themselves the third tower so they were protecting their kingdom not to be destroyed the third uh, papron also is here spoken uh, in these last days they want to protect themselves so they cannot perish they want to end uh, the message of the second coming of jesus christ but prophecy is fast fulfilling today we will hear the message calling god these people come out of papron is the message for today let's hear the warning message for this time come out of papron is a message another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues for her sins have reached unto heaven and God hath remembered her iniquities midst of heaven having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people saying with a loud voice fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. <laughs> friends, friends, I tell you, the message, the controversy is, who do we worship? Kiss the sun, lest he be angry. The message for today is a call to worship, uh, kiss the sun, friends. Worship him. You know what it means to kiss? It means that you acknowledge Jesus Christ is the word. To kiss is you love. If you love me, keep the commandments. Kiss the son. If you love me, keep my commandments. Do you love Jesus? Does the, this church love Jesus? Yes. You will keep the commandments which he gave to Moses. So friends, today the title is Kiss the Son, lest he be angry. That is Psalms chapter 2. You will understand the key message for today kiss the son lest he be angry the son of jesus christ and this is life eternal that they might know thee the only true god whom uh the only true god and jesus christ whom we are sent if you know them then you will be saved i am surprised in these last days today we want to consider a message also in these subtitles a message will revolve around the message. The synod is missing something essential at the churches. There is ecumenism. There is gathering. There is coming together of churches. They are moving together, joining together under this manner of the times. Just moving together. What is the agenda here? Sudan is Nile fishermen. Worry as climate change means fewer fish. So there is fishing. I covered yesterday a message uh, under fishing with Pope Francis. What does it mean fishing with Pope Francis? But who should we be fishing with? We should be fishing with Jesus Christ, not with Pope Francis. No, we should be fishing with Jesus Christ. Pope is the world's pastor. Who is this called himself a, a pastor? Do you know? In the other area he says the Pope was calling himself a teacher. Who is this calling himself a teacher? Who is the teacher? Jesus Christ is the great master and the great teacher. Call no money on the earth 
uh, your father or your master called on Jesus the Lord. But you would be surprised today that Islam have rejected the word of God. But they acknowledge the word of Pope Francis. Look, accompaniment, removing our sandals before the sacred ground of the altar. The Pope does not care about salvation. He says all religions are what? They are holy. But what does the Bible say? Come out of our my people, that you be not partakers of our sins. This be separate is the voice of Jesus Christ in this last day. Radan in the United Arab Emirates, religious political leaders from different faiths break fast under one roof. This is Jezebel, 454 prophets, and those who wash, wash by the brook. You understand now? This is what is the agenda. Religious and political leaders from different faiths break fast under one roof. You see now who will be in trouble? Elijah. But Elijah must warn them. Accompaniment is walking at the pace of another. So don't go faster. Don't preach to them. They are all what? They are all Catholics. It's the message we have covered on the other day. God does not need to separate the sacred and the profane. We do. This is the message of Pope Francis. It's the same agenda of Pope Francis. What does he call himself? Let's see. Abu Dhabi standing new multi-faith complex. It's a mosque, it's a synagogue, and it's a church. Jesus. What is it? It's a mosque. It is a synagogue. And it's a church. This is ecumenism. International Youth Climate Delegate Program 2023. Do you know the message of Youth Climate Delegate? Do you know the children of Israel when they were in captivity? I have covered this message before in several areas in uh, TikTok and in various photos. Just go and search it out. So we live in the last days, friends. When it is very hard to differentiate uh, truth from error. Exactly, you use the word of God. Jesus says, come out and be separate. For France to dine with gay and transgender enemies in Naples prison. You dine with them? What is the main agenda you have seen before? He does not want to uh, separate the sacred and the profane. No, he just wants you to remain in your state. What does spiritualism say? Heaven is your place. Even if you are a sinful, even if you live the way you live, heaven is your place. Don't worry about there is no judgment. That is what spiritualism says. This is the state of the modern society which we are in. I recharge to hold interfaith dinner event. We are all Catholics now. Don't worry. That, you know what Catholics means? It means universalism. Everybody is saved. So let's go and see the key message for today. Let's go to the verse of the hour as we understand what is really happening here. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 2, there is a church and this church is gathering people to himself. For man also, Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 2, for man also knoweth not his time. As the fishes that are taken in an evil net, you know what fishing is? It is preaching, saving, but what is this? A net, there is an evil net, and there is a good net, the net of uh, salvation. But there is an evil net. Psalms chapter 140 verse 11 says, uh, Let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. What is this evil speaker? It's a speaker who was an evil net. This is the purpose. For man also know to his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net. So these are the sons of men who have been ensnared in an evil time. As the past that are caught in, a, in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time. We redeem the time, it's an evil time, when it falls suddenly upon them. There is a falling away fast, and that man of sin has been revealed. Apocalypse chapter 1 verse 13, Thou art of pure eyes and to behold evil. Jesus Christ, he does not behold evil. He does not uh, spare evil. Friends, thou art, of, thou art of pure eyes and to behold evil. But what does the Pope say? It doesn't matter that you separate ev uh, profane from evil. No, he just unites with them. He just mingles with them. He doesn't care that you are saved. We are all Catholics now. Uniting everybody in one pond. Evil net. Fishing everything. Universalism. Catholicism. Universalism, friends. Thou art of pure eyes and to behold evil. And cast not, uh, cast not look at on iniquity. 
Wherefore, Lucas thou upon them that did treacherously. Why is the Lord waiting so long for those who are dealing treacherously against the word of God? Why is the Lord holding so long for the people of God who are perishing? The people who are perishing, who are being killed because of the truth. And others thy tongue when the wicked devour the man that is more righteous than he? Why is the Lord holding so long? The Lord is not struck concerning his promise, as some count him slackness, but he's waiting, long suffering, that many should come to the truth. Why look as thou upon them that he did threaten? Why are you holding your tongue, O mighty one of Israel? Oh Michael, why are you sitting so quiet at such a time when evil is triumphing and going everywhere? That people say that Islam is going everywhere and triumphing. 14. And make as men as the fishes of the sea, as the creeping things that have no rule over them. When you hear about creeping things, it's when people forget about the truth. This is from Romans. You understand when they forgot God and they worship the creature. Who are they worshiping? They are worshiping Pope Francis. Fishing with Pope Francis. Pope Francis, who calls himself a teacher, a great prophet, a great pastor, a great shepherd, acting like the shepherd. Just Google those words. And make as men as the fishes of the sea, as the creeping things that have no rule over them. Who is this now fishing them? Like they think that the Lord is no, not ruling uh, uh, over the earth? These are speaking evil against the divinities. But if Daniel was here, he would speak that thou must know that the Almighty God rules in the kingdoms of men. They take up all of them with the ankle. They are fishing everybody. This is universalism. They take all of them with the ankle. This is universalism. This is Catholicism. They catch them in their nets and gather them in their drag. This is Catholicism. You gather everything. You fish everything. You don't separate anybody. They say we are in the same pass. Proverbs chapter 1 verses 10. We are in the same pass. Those who will not unite with us, they will be killed. What do they do? Therefore, they rejoice and are glad. They rejoice and they are glad. We will uh, divine that. They rejoice and they are glad. Therefore, they sacrifice unto their net. This is, this is to their message. This is the message of Pope Francis of fishing everything. And they burn incense unto their drag. They rejoice in it. You, you, they pray. They pray, you know, to pan incense is prayer. They pan incense onto, onto their drug. They pray onto their drug, onto their gospel. Because by them, their portion is fat and their meat plenteous. Do you know this meat? This meat which is plenteous is that, you know, their meat is plenteous. What does it mean? Jesus Christ at one time defined what the meat is. When he was uh, with the Samaritan woman, he said, I have my meat here. I have my meat. What is their meat? They have several. They are fishing everything. This is Catholicism. Fishing everything, friends. Fishing everything. You fish everything. They don't care about salvation. No. They fish everything. Catholicism means fishing everything. Their meat is plenteous. They seem to be missing something essential. Other churches. Fishing everything, my faith complex is Moscow, synagogue, and church. We are all Catholics. And what? I'm the pastor, uh, the chaplain of the United Nations, Pope Francis, dining with the gay and transgender. Don't care about salvation. Remove your sandals on the sacred ground of the other. We are all Catholics. That's what they have been teaching over and over. Don't care about salvation. But the Bible says, Worship him who made heaven and the earth, the sea and the fountains of the waters. But who is the world worshiping? Friends, they are reverencing, they are reverencing Pope Francis, friends. Great apostasy of the age. Friends, Isaiah chapter 20, 14 verse 2. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut to the ground which did weaken the nations? Who is this weakening the nations? This is the devil. And who is he using? The Antichrist in these last days, how is the Antichrist uh, using, how is the Antichrist actually doing in this our time? Let's see what the Antichrist generally is doing. The Antichrist is doing something. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. But what is the devil you doing in these last days? 
they are meat spreaders, they are Christians, so called in the quotes. There are many, there are many who are perishing, going to perdition. Oh, friends, they are meat spreaders. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ Jesus, who strength, which strengthens me. But who is this weakening the nations, removing Jesus Christ from the scope? 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4, charity suffers long and is kind. So charity is long suffering, waiting. The Lord, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, but he is waiting for men to be saved. That is charity, that's love. But what is this love they are having in these last days? Love without principle. They are kissing the Pope, but they are not kissing who? Jesus Christ is the great teacher, is the great pastor, is the great, great king of kings and lord of lords. But who are they worshipping? The Antichrist. Love is kind. Love envies not. Love wanted not. Let's go to the proof word. Love seeketh not our own. It's not easily provoked. But what about when we preach the truth? Are not the nation is becoming angry? Yes, because we teach, the, we teach the truth. And the people is saying, don't care about salvation. Let's dine together. This is Jezebel's table. We dine what? What are they eating? They're eating from Jezebel's table. They're eating from doctrines of devils. This we have seen. This is the spirits of devils gathering nations for that great day of the Lord God Almighty. Uh -huh. Think at not evil. But these people, they think evil. The book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 1, verses 10, they say that these people are gathering evil against the people of God in these last days which we live. They are making war against the saints of the Most High. And this we have understood because the Word of God is clearly speaking. Proverbs chapter 1 verses 10, they think evil, they shed blood, they, but they are gathering. If you don't unite with them, you are in trouble. Proverbs 1 verses 10, it says, My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, Come with us, let us lay wait for blood, let us lack privity for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as a grave and call as those that go down into the pit or into perdition. We shall find our precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. What are they saying? They say, let's come together. Let's have, let us have one pass. 14. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one pass. These have one mind. And they shall make war with the Lamb. Revelation 17 verses 14 downward says, these have one mind. Rejoice not iniquity. But these say, don't care. Don't separate profane from uh, good. No. Don't. Don't care about that one. They fish everything. They are meat. They are Christians. They are plenty. They are many. They are many. They, but love rejoices not iniquity in the sin. Love does not rejoice in it. Uh, it rejoices in the truth. Only the truth. You cannot unite with those who don't love the truth. That's love. John chapter 6 verse 61. When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Does this offend you? Do you know what the Jews were murmuring in the wilderness and the Persian? Even in these last days, these people are murmuring against those who preach the truth. They are murmuring against the truth. They don't want Jesus Christ to, to go with them. They just want the doctrines of Pope Francis. Who doesn't care about salvation? No, he just want to unite men to perish. Don't, does this offend you? Does this offend you? That I have no rule over them. These people, who are they taking to be their ruler for Francis? They take up all of them with the anchor. They catch them in their net and gather them in their drag. They gather them in their drag, friends. They don't care about salvation. They rejoice in evil. They are glad in evil. This is an evil net. An evil net, friends. They have a sacrifice onto their net. They burn incense into their drug. They rejoice under their drug doctrines. They push them uh, even to others because uh, by them their portion is fat and their meat printers. They are Christians printers. These are Samaritans. There are many. These need to be brought to Jesus. Shall they therefore empty their net and not spare continue to slay the nations? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast uh, rejected knowledge, I will reject thee. Aha! Uh -huh. 
where they have rejected the command the ten commandments of god if you love me keep my commandments kiss the son if you love the son keep his commandments but the pope has changed the sabbath of rest from the seventh even to what he has changed the sabbath of rest uh from the seventh through his laudato si gospel laudato si gospel he says sunday like the jewish sabbath is meant to be a day which which is our relationship with god with ourselves and with others and with the world this is what he has given the world not the bible sabbath now no he has given them his sabbath jude chapter 1 verse 11 before i read that one america is some of it floods and climate change welcome to the new abnormal in search of a better world what does the pope says the world is in a desperate demand for a sabbath what has the pope given them sunday like the jewish sabbath he has substituted this not the jewish sabbath the sabbath was made for man generally but he has substituted the Sabbath of the Lord to another Sabbath of the papacy through this Eucharist agenda. This bread, this is just very spread. Eucharist. You know what Eucharist means? He makes bread. He makes God. What is his agenda? Jude chapter 1 verse 11. War unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, and then greedily after the era of Baharam for God. What was the era of Baharam? Come, cast these people. There are many. And perishing in the gain is saying, of course, these are sports in your feast of charity. Sports in your feast of charity, they call it this charity, they call it this love. No, kiss the sun, not the Pope. When they feast with you, feeding themselves with the, without fear, they don't fear God. You know, if you fear God, that they may fear me and keep me my commandments. This is what the Lord God of Almighty says. Clouds they are without water, there is no water here. The water at the well. The woman at the well, there is no water. These are clouds without water. Jesus Christ is not in the water of life, is not in this. Gathered about of winds. You know what winds mean? Go read the book of uh, Osea chapter 13, verse 1. If from feeding on wind, aha, uh -huh, gathered about of winds, trees of trees whose fruit withered, without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots, raging waves of the sea, forming out their own shame these are raging waves of the sea they are angry they are angry if we preach to them they are very angry they don't have love they don't rejoice in truth they are angry waves of the sea forming out their own shame wandering stars pop has been moving to and from the earth wondering where has Pope francis been since 2013 just go with that statement to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever this, they don't know the truth. At the Twilight of Pope Francis, this, they don't know the truth. No, never. They don't know the truth. They rejoice in evil. Let's go uh, uh, in understanding. The crossing scenes of the artist's history are near at hand. The unfulfilled prediction, prediction of the book of Revelation are soon to be fulfilled. fulfilled. This prophecy is now to be studied with diligence by the people of God and should be clearly understood. If it does not conceal the truth, it clearly for one telling us what will be in the future. The time is here. The Lord himself will call men as of old. He called the humble fishermen and will himself give them instruction regarding their field of labor and the method they should follow. He will call men from the flow and from, the, from other occupations to give the last note of warning to perishing souls. Letter 210, September 21st, uh, 1903. Do you understand the message here? It is time that Elijah should be called from the plow. The time has come. The Antichrist is here. You know when Eli Elisha was called, uh, it means uh, that uh, the house of Jezebel was lifting itself up. There was a struggle. There was giving of jobs. If you look at 2 Kings chapter 1, you realize that, that uh, a king did fall and went to inquire from the god of Ekron. We have seen the god of Ekron in our time. In these jabs and uh, shots, in this pestilence 19, when Jesus Christ was upon this earth, he did not direct the fishermen to leave their nets and pots and go to the Jewish teachers to gain a uh, preparation for the gospel ministry. No, he just called them. He just called them. And God is going to do the same in such a time of pestilence. Away fast. People are falling from their ice estate. What God wants to do prepare a people he's calling for people he's calling for his servants 
to be awakened in such a time friends we live in the last days or say chapter 13 verse 2 what does it the word of god read here and what does it generally say let's see or say chapter 13 verse 2 it says and now they seen more and more and have made them more than images of their silver and idols according to their own understanding what is this silver what is this sinning more and more what is this idols these are philosophies idols their imaginations according to their understanding do they understand do you understand all of it the work of the craft craftsmen what is this crafty these philosophies ideas of men these are crafties idols they say of them they say of them let the men that sacrifice kiss the calves what as they say kiss the calves they kiss their craftsmen they kiss their ideas they kiss their philosophies laudato si frater duty and sacrifice of Pope francis these are the idols Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 13 But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8 Be aware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. This is philosophy, vain deceit, and the tradition of men. Tradition? These are the traditions of Rome, not by the tradition of the word of God. No, other the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. These of their mind these are adultery adulteries this is adultery mingling with the world Ezekiel chapter 14 verse 3 son of man these men have set up their idols in their heart this is like giving an idol sabbath which Pope Francis has given the world and they see uplifting it the idol sabbath like the idol of Nebuchadnezzar and they forcing the world judicialists presidents kings of the earth to worship it these have one mind Revelation chapter 17 they are drinking doctrines from the cup of Pope Francis, a golden cup of Pope Francis. This is of one man, son of man. These men have set up their idols in their heart, this vain philosophy, and put a stumbling block of their iniquity before their face. Should I be inquired of at all by them? What is this stumbling block? Do you know the stumbling block of the Jews in such a time? We'll understand it just in a moment. The stumbling block of their iniquity before their face. They rejoice in iniquity. Should I be inquired at all by them? Should they seek counsel from the Lord God of heaven? No, they don't care. They just don't differentiate the profane from the e from the good. Let's see. Let's see. Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 15. They take up all of them with the angle. They catch them in their net. It's an evil net. And they gather them in their drug. They have they rejoice in iniquity and are glad. Habakkuk chapter 1 16. Therefore, they sacrifice unto their net. Imagine they sacrifice unto their net. Who was they supposed to sacrifice unto? The Lord God of heaven. He should be magnified. But who are they magnifying? They magnify themselves. They rejoice unto themselves. And they burn incense unto their drug. Because by them, their portion is fat. Their portion is fat. This is sin. Fat is sin. And their meat, plenteous. What is this meat? Jesus Christ says, I have my meat. Uh, I have my meat here. That is when he was speaking to the Samaritan woman, when the disciples said, Has anybody given him meat? Has anybody given him meat? My meat is to do the will of my master. But what is the world doing? They are doing the will of their Pope Francis. Let's see on your screen. Let the despots eliminate the, the citizens' arms. The Pope Francis has been calling us fundamentalists, those who rejoice. Those who insist on keeping the truth, for Francis has said, are trappers of the people. Those who insist on keeping the truth are the trappers of the people, for Francis has said. For Fra uh, Francis and Critical, your questions answered on Laudato Si. So he says, look on Laudato Si, don't look on your words. The dangers of defining Pope Francis as the world's moral reader. The Jesuit Pope is program is too radically human and intensely relational. It is human, friends. It doesn't care about salvation. It doesn't care about God. It has relation to the, to be relegated uh, uh, to the oven misunderstood and misused mission of morality. It doesn't care about God. Students around the world reflect on love that see. We are in Shina again. Should we reflect on the meat of Shina? Should we reflect on the meat of Nebuchadnezzar, a religious leader and also a political leader? Who is this? And, and, a transgender leader, religious and a political. Pope Francis, a man of his word. This transgender friend, 
accompaniment, removing our sandals before the sacred ground of the other. We are all Catholics now. Friends, this is uh, evil. They don't differentiate. We are all Catholics now. Universalism. Their meat is plenteous. Their Christians are many, removing our sandals before the sacred ground of the earth. Pope Francis suggests people have more obligation to take the job. Friends, that is evil. Pope Francis has messed up. He does it have an utterance to God. True. He is not leading people to God. He is leading them to perdition. President Ruto, Africa should fight climate change together. Together? Together again. We are all Catholics now, fighting together. What is it? We are in trouble, friends. Romans chapter 11 verse 9 and they said let their table be made a snare a table together just for this table let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block why, why is a stumbling block they rejected jesus christ the word of god and a recompense unto them Romans chapter 14 verse 13 let us not therefore judge one another anymore but judge this rather that no man put a stumbling block on or an occasion to fall in his brother's way do not Close the way of your brethren who are going to Jesus. They should go to Jesus, not to Pope Francis, who is calling himself a man of his word, who is calling himself a word is pastor, who is, calling, who is calling himself a chaplain of the United Nations. This is evil. Who doesn't care about evil and good? This is the Antichrist of the last days. God is calling to you. Come unto me. Let's see. Revelation chapter 2, verse 14. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast their attempt to hold the doctrines of Param. What is the doctrine of Param? You know what was happening at the time of Parak and Param? He said, come and cast for me Israel. There are many. They are extending. But what are they saying now? That They are saying now that Islam is conquering and going everywhere. Who created Islam? It's Romanism. It's Rome who created Islam. Who taught Parak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel? Before the children of Israel, friends, who taught Parak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel? To eating sacrifice unto idols. What is this they are eating? They are eating from Jesperi's table. Idols, friends. Philosophies. And to commit fornication. This is uniting the kings of the earth. Unlawful connection with the kings of the earth. Unlawful. Unlawful. God says, be separate, but the Bible says, we don't care. Remove your sandals. Other regions are also holy. Friends, this is evil. This is the man of sin who is exalting himself above all that is called God. Friends, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 22. For the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. These philosophies. You know Greece? Do you know what you know about Greece? You know the piece of Revelation chapter 13, a mouth like of a, of a lion? And uh, what Greece is spoken, what is the symbol of Greece? A pair? Yes, Greece is a symbol of a pair if I have not forgotten. And Greece is a symbol of the purpose in these last days. Who thinks of his philosophies, rudiments of the world? Friends, but we preach Christ crucified, not uh, unto the Jews a stumbling blocks, and unto the Greeks foolishness. Is it not foolishness unto them? Yes, because they don't know the power of God, that is the word of God, Christ the word of God. But who do they look on to? For Francis is a man of his word. Do they look to Jesus Christ, the power of God, the word of God? So the gospel of Christ is the power of God. Robert chapter 1 verse 18, I believe it's 18. The, word, the gospel is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Who is this wisdom of God? Jesus Christ, unto us a, a son is given. Unto us his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor. The mighty God, the everlasting Father. But who are they uniting onto? This is evil. This is papel. This is papron. Pen scientists are honored for MRA research used in pestilence 19 jobs. The chaotic closing days, rise of online payments as rate much to cashier society. What is the agenda of cashier society? Those who will not unite with them. Those who will not amplify Laudato Si. Those who will not magnify the populist law. Of ten green commandments. What would be doing happen to them? Re read the book of Isaiah chapter 42. Magnify the law of God. But what are they magnifying? They magnify Laudato Si. What would happen to them? They would not be able to buy or sell. Aging can be reversed in mice. Are people next? What is the agenda? Why are they using this uh, thing of uh, jabs and shots? 
They want to destroy the image of God in man. They want to destroy the temple of God where the spirit of the Lord will dwell in these last days to work mightily. Why does the people love this trippy dystopian novel from 1907? This is a dystopian society. It is a dystopian society. Do you understand these things? Do you understand such things of this time? Cash is dying. Freedom is at stake. Freedom is perishing. Friends, why economic forum uniting, taking away cash? Why food program taking away food? There is a famine in the land, not a famine of food, but a famine of hearing the word of God. Are you so yet without understanding? But the wise shall understand. Do you understand? Cash is perishing. Cash, uh -huh. cyber security, security, save, 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 save. It is save, it is save, it is save. Cash is perishing. Do you understand these things? Oh, friends, thank you so much for your time. The Lord God of heaven is seeking, is calling for you. Come unto me. African judiciary is meeting in Nairobi to discuss climate change litigation. Read the book of uh, Daniel chapter 3. Nebuchadnezzar, through his idol Sabbath, gathered everybody together. The Pope is being called to be kissed. Kiss the Pope. All nation, rule of ecumenism, they are kissing the words of Pope Francis. If you love me, keep the commandments. They are love the Pope. They love the Pope, the son of perdition. They should love the son of God, the son of heaven, the son of man. Who are they kissing? They are kissing the son of perdition. The son of perdition? The son of perdition? The son of perdition? No, friends. Kiss the son. Kiss the son. Father in heaven. Thank you because you have spoken. O oh God of heaven, prepare us for the second coming. O oh Lord, awaken us for the sense of this time. Be uplifted, O oh Lord of heaven. Help us, help your people who are committing fornication, who are drinking from Jezebel's staple, the woman of Revelation chapter 17, that they be, be awakened because, Lord, they are going to make war against thee in this time. Help us to stand faithful in this crisis. O oh God of heaven, have mercy upon us. Help us to see that our eyes may behold and look unto you and see the Lamb of God which was slain from the foundations of the world. Oh Lord, help us. In Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Amen. Who will you kiss? Kiss the Son, not the Son of Perdition. Friends, I forgot something. I forgot something I'm reminded here. And now they see more and more, and I've made them more than image of their silver and the idols according to their own understanding. All of it, the work of their craftsmen, their imagination, philosophy. They say unto them, let the men that sacrifice kiss the calves. What are they kissing? They are kissing their idols, kissing the calves. They say these calves will lead them back to Egypt. They at the way, they kissed the calves. On the way to Egypt, they kissed the calves, friends. And through Hosea chapter 13 verse 2, and Daniel chapter 8 verse 25 and through his policy also he shall cause crafty the Pope Francis is crafty son of perdition is crafty to prosper in his hand and they shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy men he shall also stand up against them. what is this peace? if we preach the word of God they are provoked, they are angry they are jealousy they war against us because we preach the word of God but they are ready to unite with the prince of, of uh, the world not to a prince or princess, not to the prince of peace. No, they are united with Pope Francis. But he shall be broken without the Pope shall be broken without hand. Be aware uh, lest any man spoil you, you through philosophy and vain deceit. These are crafties. These are things they have made for themselves. They have designed for themselves. They are kissing the Pope. They are kissing the Pope rather than kissing the Son. Kissing the Son, the Son of, uh, of God. Who are they worshipping? Oh friends, may God help you to understand the message for this time. May God help you to understand uh, in this time. Go read the message. Thank you for sharing. Was it interesting that Ted Wilson made the keynote speech at the Ramadan last week? What are they saying? Kissing the Pope. Who are they kissing? Kissing the Pope. What is this Ramadan and the Easter thing all of about? Eating from Jezebel's table. Oh God of heaven, awaken your people, save your people. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. The warning is, listen 
to the God of heaven. Listen to the God of heaven. The message is, come to Jesus. Worship the one who made the heaven and the earth and the sea and the fountains of the waters. Who is this? Jesus Christ is his name. Listen to him. Listen to Jesus. The trumpet is calling to you, all nations. Come to Jesus. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation, and kindred, and tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven, and earth, and the sea, and the fountains of waters. <laughs> 